All right, Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rekah Kodash. I want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. And Shalom, a salute to the hopefully lack from the least to the greatest. So, this video, I'm going in on this uh, character um, slash uh, cosplaying um, one, one uh, when she runs for. Uh, the election she's black she's eating collard greens in the tub which i don't know uh never you know jake to eat uh collard greens uh, in a tub but this east indian uh which i believe she's uh she, it's a possibility this could be cleopatra in the reincarnation this devil which she's uh her father is like one of those east indian caucasians was his lineage I believe his lineage goes back to, um, is it, uh, e well, Esau, but it's a certain line that, uh, these devils had when, um, they played a role in our captivity. So she's black on, um, around election time, knowing how slow Jake is, these silly, uh, simple minded Negroes and these silly black women, they'll, they'll, They'll prop prop up somebody that's not even in their best interest. We don't care. We we in the truth know that whoever they elect, they're um following the elite plans anyway. But you don't just go out there and uh and vote for these people. Cause and and they, they understand that it's a spiritual thing as well. When you go out there and uh vote for these uh these demons. It's like a spiritual thing, right? They don't look at that part. They don't look at the spiritual aspect about it. You basically uh, putting your lives in these people's hands. It's, it's, it's spirits and all type of things that follow, uh, you know, when you go uh, follow after these people. So any old way, I just want to play what she said, right? A lot of people ain't caught it, but it's similar to what Bill Gates said. And these people tell you, I believe you, how about Shimmy, how was shy? Um allow these people to tell you right what they're doing you know they can't hide it at first their their whole uh plans and their power was secrecy you know but it's coming to to the light you know so yeah i was is exposing all these people all these people even uh was barack obama he was nothing but a hammock you notice they never get uh they always get people that's not an Israelite or they never get a pit a person in office that's a Jake they always get either he has to be if he is a Jake he he have to be a, a top sellout coon that ain't got no backbone or is is someone that's not even um, within our lineage they may look like us just like back then like King Herod King Herod had to look like us but he was a edomite all right just like obama looked like us but he he would they not like us you see they not like us they they we're israelites and they come from another nation and i believe this chick right here she's of another nation she's not a J. I don't believe it so anyway let me go ahead and play the clip and uh this is going to be pretty much a short clip so um i got a couple scriptures backed up and then let's go. So I'll go ahead and play it. And so we set an ambitious goal to cut our greenhouse gas emissions in half by 2030 and to reach net zero emissions by 2050. The investment we are announcing today will help us to achieve these goals and it will do so much more. Because think also about the impact on not only the local economy, not only on an investment in the entrepreneurs and innovators from and in the community, think about the impact on something like public health. When we invest in clean energy and electric vehicles and reduce population. Oh, did you hear that? See, a lot of times these, these people are nothing but actors. And what, they'll, what they do is they set these people up and they give them um, a speech or they read off a green screen or the people, the
the elites behind the scene, they'll write them their speech or what they have to say and go up there, hey, you got to say this to the public, this, that, and the third to the public, you know? But these, she's a bimbo. Hey, there's information on her, whereas though uh, early on she was a passing rap, all right? And I'm quite sure y'all know what that means. And just like Cleopatra was, Cleopatra was a pass around, you know, during that during that time. All these people come back fulfilling their roles in regeneration or reincarnation. Just like in the past, we were, uh, Lord willing, I would say uh, uh, we were prophets in the past. We're prophets now, you know. So she said reduce population. Let's get it again impact on something like public health. When we invest in clean energy and electric vehicles and reduce population, more And I gotta quite say that she's on really on board, really the Lord is gonna reduce population when he come back. Two thirds gotta be cut off. So that's reduced, but the Lord is gonna do it. Now, he appointed Esau to do some of these things, right? But they're doing it in a wicked way. But ultimately, they serve in the Lord's purpose because that's what he's going to do in general. That's why we on the highways and byways and make these videos telling you, Jake, that this devil is going to come down on hard on you. You know, it, it's not a game. They got they got plans to take you, Jake's out, man. And we're not out there for nothing. You know, when you see Jake out there dressed uh, we got our robes on, our, uh, our um, you know, our border blue. We're not out there for nothing. That should scare you, actually. That should scare you. More of our children can breathe clean air and drink clean water. All right, well, first off, if this devil didn't fuck everything up, we wouldn't have to worry about. See, this would they order out of chaos. They caused the problem didn't come with the solution. If you devils ain't fuck up the earth in the, excuse my language, if you devils ain't destroy the earth in the first place, we would have to deal with uh, clean, trying to clean water and all that. You see you see how these, what these people do? You know, they mess everything up, then come with the solution like they didn't cause the, the initial problem. So I'm just about done hearing what this bimbo got to say. I'm gonna go ahead and get the scriptures. All right, the first scripture that I have is Psalms chapter 58. All right, and I'll go to verse 3. I'll start at verse 3, and it says, The wicked are estranged for the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Yeah, so the, the wicked are estranged for the womb. These people were born this way. And when this is really talk, going into... Uh, Jacob and Esau, or Cain and Abel, that, 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 that guy was born wicked, you know? So you, you Jakes, you Christian church Jakes can't change this devil. I don't know, uh, y'all could try, but you won't prevail at changing this devil. Because they, they, uh, they, they born that way. The Lord made them that way. All right? And they speak in lie, the lie the lies that they speak is uh, against the nation of Israel that they are the Egyptians. They are the true Israelites. They are this. They are that. They're not original. We were just talking about that at camp. How uh, these devils want to be everybody but themselves. Won't they be Edom? All right. They, they, they never want to claim themselves. I mean, truthfully, if they just claim themselves... That's showing, they, that's showing them that they, they are from the Middle East, but they're just the wicked brother of Jacob. But they don't want to be themselves. They want to be everybody else but themselves. They want to be the Samurais. They want to be uh, the, the uh, Japhetic, Japhites. They want to be everybody popular but themselves. I mean, they, when, when He-Man, I, I remember the 80s, when He-Man came out, that was close you know, He-Man with the sword, the, the big Edomite with the muscles, with the long hair. That was close. You know, I, I believe they were showing like Petra and, and 
in the area where the, 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 the cliffs and the rocks. So they got close with it, but they didn't want to, they didn't want to follow through. Um, I guess they say, uh, call us, we was Kangs. All right. Well, y'all, yeah, hey, y'all say that y'all was Vikings, which y'all wasn't the real Vikings. We was Vikings. All right. Y'all wasn't the real Vikings. That was Jake too. So y'all want to be everybody but yourself. Won't you just claim Esau? At least you could say you, you was close to being, uh, <laughs> you know, you, then you can get your land, your land back and go over your, which your, your, that ain't going to be your land no more either. But right now you go, go over to the, go, go over to Edom, go over to Petra. That's right south of the border of Israel and claim that. At least you'll be on point. Everybody will figure out that you're the wicked. They know that now. You might as well just come out. Oh, yeah, we the Edomites. And then go over there. They should have did that in the first. I don't know why y'all try to claim Israel. You should have just went over there and, and claim Edom. Fix that up. You know? But it's all the Bible prophecy. You know, and the Lord set it up that way. Because you rats, man. Y'all want to hide at everything. All right. Um, this is Job 20 and 23. It says, I'll start at 22. It says, In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. When he is about to fill his belly, Yahweh shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him, and it shall rain upon him while he is eaten. So, y'all, just when y'all think y'all new world order, is gonna launch off, right? Y'all gonna give y'all gonna be able to launch it off, but right when you do, right, that's when the Lord gonna stop you in your your tracks. All right, that's what that's talking about. So right when you about to fill your belly with uh, with uh, half cooked meat, the Lord gonna stop you. All right, devil, put these chains on. All right, you, you don't like jewelry? Get used to it. Get you get used to the, the the shackles that that type of jewelry, you know. So to close it out, I'm gonna get Jeremiah uh, thirty, and uh, I'll get seven. It says, "At last, for the day is great, so that none is like it. Even at the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it." So Jacob is gonna be all right now. During this time, of course, it's not. But we was talking about this at camp. We say Jacob's trouble, but it's going to be Esau's trouble. You know, because everything will be flipped right on you. Don't think that when the two thirds go through their turmoil, hey, Esau will be going to get it, going to be getting it too. You know, so, yeah, it's Jacob's trouble, but it's going to be Esau's trouble as well. You know, so I hope this was edifying to the body. Till again, shalom.